Yeah, there it is. So this one, we need some kind of intersection between these two intervals. Um, why is this the intersection symbol? I have no idea. But try to convince yourself to feel good about it. Or never do. I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's do this first one. Again, I'll do it in red. So let's, uh, we do like to see zero there, which is part of the second interval. But either way, I have a negative 5 here on the left of zero. That is a square bracket, so that would be a closed circle there. And this one, it's going to go all the way to infinity. So this line would just roll all the way over. And that, that represents that first interval. The next one, starting at zero, so that would be a closed circle because it's a square bracket. And yeah, this one also goes to infinity. So this one, hopefully you can see those two colors there okay. This one also goes all the way to infinity. But we want the intersection, which means on a graph for me, I, I'm just looking for where they're stacked. So I can see if I, if I go all the way to the left, starting at negative 5, it's not stacked until I get to 0. Okay, So 0 would be kind of my lower limit here. And it's not only part of the red, but it's also part of the purple. So it's included in both. So it's also included in the intersection. From there, it goes, everything goes to the right all the way to infinity, which is never included. So this, this interval is the intersection of these two intervals. Be careful because some students are like, well, it goes to negative 5, though. No, the red one does, but not both. It has to be both. 